Hey y'all, what is up? How are you doing through this craziness of everything that is happening? I hope you are safe and doing well. I know one of my subscribers has a virus, so he is deeply in my thoughts. For those of y'all that don't know me, hi, my name is Kimberly. I post videos about Germany, so if that's your kind of thing, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers pretty soon, so I'm at 2,700 pretty close. So yeah, I would re really appreciate any support that I can get. And if you're already subscribed to me, I know you're gonna love this video, so please give it a big thumbs up. So grab a cup of coffee. We're gonna chat about some of my most favorite German traditions. Yes, we are talking about lederhosen, pickles and trees. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I knew that would really trigger some people. Anyways, now that I'm done trolling with y'all, let's get started with this video. So number one, that is beer gardens. Like I know, so basic, but I absolutely love beer gardens. For those of y'all that are not German, a beer garden is something that is open during the spring, summertime. Usually it's a summertime thing when the weather warms up. This is a Southern Germany tradition, but I think that pretty much all parts of Germany have adapted a Biergarten in their region. Um, and it's just an area outside where people will sit at long picnic tables usually and they will enjoy beer. I really love it a lot because I've never seen Germans so social in a setting like a Biergarten. After a few pints of Hofbrau, it's, Germans are a freaking amazing. I mean, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. Also, my favorite Biergarten, so I've been to quite a few Biergartens, especially in Berlin since I've spent my summer in Berlin, but my favorite one is called Neuamsi. I think that's what it's called. And they have really good food there too, like Bavarian style food with Wurst and Bratzel and beer. It's so awesome. I just love it. It's an absolute party in my opinion. Hopefully this summer, Germans can enjoy their Biergartens. Number two, Weihnachtsmarkt, of course. So for those of y'all that don't know German or for those of y'all that just did not understand what the heck I just said because, you know, American accent, uh, yes. Uh, it is a Christmas market. So Germany has, hands down in my opinion, the best Christmas market in the whole entire world. I've been to a French Christmas market. I've been to a Czech Christmas market. To be fair though, I was in the Czech Republic at the beginning of Christmas market season, so I don't think I gave it a fair enough shot. I've been to Austrian Christmas markets. Austrian Christmas markets were really, really nice as well. But in my opinion, there's nothing like a German Christmas market. A German Christmas markets, it has everything you can possibly imagine. It has pommes, it has nuden, nuden, nuden. <laughs> um, yeah, a schnitzel, you can get like everything. I love uh, getting, what is it called? I forget what it's called, like Wurst and Brötchen, is that what it is? Brötchen? If y'all just watched my latest video about German words that I really struggle with, y'all would know that that is a word that I really struggle with. I will link it somewhere over wherever I link it. I don't understand how YouTube really works. But yeah, absolutely love that. And by far, to me, the best part about the Christmas market is Glühwein. If y'all don't know what Glühwein is, y'all are really missing out. It is hot mulled wine and there's like different types of spices in it like cinnamon, nutmeg. I don't actually know if it's nutmeg but it tastes like it, like cloves. I don't know what spices exactly it actually is now that I'm talking about it but it is absolutely delicious. Just a little side story is I brought Glühwein back to Texas for my mom to try it and she did not like it at all. But when she went to Germany and she had it at a Christmas market, she was like, 
drinking it all the time. She absolutely loved it. So I think it's the whole atmosphere of the Christmas market and hot wine and the steam coming out of your cup. It is just magical. I absolutely love it. And I could honestly probably make a whole video on why I love Christmas markets. That's actually probably my favorite German tradition out of all German traditions. Okay, so <laughs> number three, I actually don't know what kind of tradition this really is. I just know I think it's really cute and I love it a lot and I'm pretty sure it is a Bavarian tradition. I think that most of my favorite traditions actually happen to be Bavarian traditions. Um, but I absolutely love these gingerbread hearts. I don't know, I just think they're so cute. At first I would try like, this is the only gingerbread heart I've ever had. My boyfriend gave it to me, um, and you can't eat it. I learned that, I tried, doesn't taste very good. It tastes like cardboard, but I absolutely love it. I would love to know more about it, the history behind it, why this, why just keep it, why not make something edible? Maybe that's just my inner fat girl in me that wants to eat it. But yeah, I absolutely love the gingerbread heart tradition and seeing like boyfriends getting it for the girlfriends or dads getting it for their wives, uh, dads getting it for their wives, dads getting it for their children and wearing it around. I just think it's so cute. Um, don't know really the historical thing behind it. So if you're German and you're watching this video, please comment that down below so that way I will know. That would be a great thing to know. So now we're on number four. And I, <laughs> I just love Germany during the Christmas time, all the Christmas traditions and everything like that. But number four is I absolutely love advent calendars so every year well for the past two years that me and my boyfriend have been together he has made me the cutest little advent calendar ever and it's not that we don't have advent calendars um in the u.s we do have them but not a lot of people actually use them or buy them or actually keep up with them um so i was really surprised taken by a pleasant surprise when i found out that that's a really big german tradition and that germans actually do keep up with it pretty well and it's taken kind of seriously which i really love that a lot number five this is also another german christmas tradition that I love and that is stone. So stone is a type of, I don't know, pastry, bready, cakey type of thing that comes from Dresden. The original one comes from Dresden and definitely recommend trying the one that you can get from that city. It's so freaking good, but you can also get really good ones at Lidl and Etika for 99 cents or something like that. Um, but it is just a type of German tradition that you eat. I love it with some Glühwein. It's just Christmas all in my mouth. I absolutely love it so much. So that's another tradition that I love food-wise. This last one is actually more of an everyday type of tradition. I think more or less actually though, the modern day German will not really uphold this tradition every day but more so on the weekends and that is cafe und kuchen 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 time um yeah so coffee and cake time uh it is just so great i've said it before in one of my videos that this is something that i really miss a lot about germany i absolutely love german cakes and coffee it's just something else because i feel like if you did something like that every day or as frequently here in the u.s you would get diabetes from how sweet our cakes are and i love them every once in a while but you can't have it as frequently as you do with the German ones. It's just so yummy. I absolutely love it. Coffee, cake, it's so great. Germany really knows what they're doing with their pastries. Something that I've also been very surprised about is that when I talk to other European people, they don't really know that Germany makes the best bread. And it's like, come on, how do y'all not know this? 
Anyways, I don't know where I was going with that point, but Germany makes the best bread, come on. So I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. This was day number 13, I think, out of 14 days that I'm consistently posting videos. So if y'all haven't watched the other videos that I've made, definitely go check them out. I have a lot of videos that I've made. Um, so if you are absolutely bored and you want to watch my videos, it's a great time to binge out on my channel. Uh, before we go, I also wanted to say that if you are free and you are German and you would love to help me out with some of my pronunciation, maybe even help me out with my German and you are so willing to WhatsApp chat with me, um, that would be awesome. So I'm looking for some people that I can possibly practice my German with. I do practice my German also with my boyfriend, but I think it's just something else to practice with multiple people. It really gets you in the right mindset and everything like that. And I saw that Connor Sullivan is doing this and I got really jealous and I was like, I really want to talk to some of my friends on here in a more personal way. And it's like a win-win situation because I get to learn German and, uh, you get to like, you know, spend some time doing something during the quarantine, so. <laughs> um, and you also don't have to endure listening to my crappy German. So yeah, just wanna throw that out there. If you're available, if you're free, please DM me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Kim Crosses Borders and maybe we can chat soon. I would love to do something like that. Love you guys so much. Again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't liked this video yet, please give it a like. Love y'all, see y'all next time. Ciao, tschüss. This den.